Hey guys, welcome back to Freak Motion. I hope you all doing well. Today we are going to create some cool space text animation inside of After Effects. Also you can use it as a title for your video. I got this idea from Envato Elements, and I think I should share the technique with you guys. So without any further ado, let's jump into the After Effects, and let's get started. Let's create a composition with as usual setting, and name it main. Before moving forward to the video, hitting the red subscribe button will be awesome. Also, hit the bell icon for all the latest updates. Let's create another composition, and let's call it grid. First, create a new solid layer. Go to effects and presets, and search for grid. Apply it on the layer. Make the layer 3D layer. Select the layer, press R to open rotation, and change X rotation value to minus 80 degree. Press P to open position, and change its position something like this. Change the size from to width and height slider. Then change the width and height value something like this. You can adjust it according to your need. Also open scale property and increase the grid size a little bit. So after all it should look like this. Now we need to animate the anchor point for the animation. On the first frame, add a keyframe on anchor point, then go forward to few frames, and change its value to something like this. So it keeps moving to the end of the timeline. Nice. Let's go back to the main comp, and place the grid comp here. Now select the layer, take the rectangle tool, and create a mask like this. Change the mask to subtract, and increase the feather value a little bit. So it blends with the background. Just like this. Lock this layer for now. Let's take the type tool, and type a text. Try to use bold fonts like this one I am using. It looks good with the bold fonts. Adjust the text spacing, size and position according to your need. And align it to the center. Now, open the text layer. Click on this animate button, and select tracking. Then click on this add button, and select opacity. Go to the first frame, and increase the tracking value a little bit. Now, open range selector 1, and change the offset value to minus 110, then add a keyframe on it. Then go forward to few frames, and change its value to 100. Now just turn off the opacity to see the animation. Alright, now go to advanced option, and change the shape to ramp up. Also increase the both ease value to 100%. So animation should look like this. Now, click on this animate button, and select another tracking. Make sure, your text paragraph is center aligned. Now here, add a keyframe on tracking amount, then go forward to few frames, and increase its value to something like this. Select these keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Then go to graph editor. Make sure you are in edit speed graph, and change the graph something like this. Select the layer, and press U to see the applied keyframes. Let's type another text you like.
Let's enable the stroke only. Change the stroke size accordingly. Also adjust the size and spacing of the text. Keep the spacing high for this text. Also place it like this. Now open the layer, click on this animate button, and select opacity. Open range selector 1. And change the offset value to minus 100, then go forward to few frames, and change its value to 100. Turn down the opacity all the way to 0. Open advanced option, and change the shape to ramp up. Also change the both ease value to 100. Also enable randomize order, and increase the random seed value a little bit. Then click on this add button, and select tracking. Increase the tracking amount a little bit. Now click on this animate button, and select another tracking. Make sure it's under animator 2. On the same time frame. Add a keyframe on tracking, then go forward to few frames, and decrease its value a little bit. Select the keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Then open graph editor, and change the graph something like this. So this should be our text animation. You can adjust the timings if needed. Select this text layer. Go to effects and presets, and search for 4 color gradient effect. Apply it on the layer. Adjust the four points like this. And change the colors you like. This seems fine to me. Let's create a new solid layer. Make sure background color is white. Now go to Effects and Presets, and search for CC Star Brust. Apply it on the layer. First decrease the speed. And make the size value 20. Decrease the speed more. Now it seems fine. Place it under the text layers. Now create a new adjustment layer. Go to effects and presets, and search for noise. Apply it on the layer. Increase the amount of noise a little bit. Create a new solid layer. Let's call it BG. Place the layer at bottom. And apply fill effect to change the background color. Let's make it dark gray background. And our animation is ready. In case you want to change the text size and position, make null layer and link the both text layer to the null layer. By this way you can easily control the text. I am just showed you one way, but there are lots of different ways to create some awesome things. So keep exploring these. So this is all for today, I hope you liked the video.
Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next week, till then have fun and stay safe.